we all deal with the imposter syndrome, but if you put the female expectation and then for in my in my case, the additional cultural southeastern, you know, Bible belt sort of additional cultural expectation on top of that, um, it becomes ingrained in your psyche and it feels like the truth, like the ultimate truth. Um, and so you measure yourself against your ability to meet those standards of ultimate truth. And, you know, what I've learned is um, there's, there's probably no such thing as like an ultimate truth. And we're all sort of determining our own paths. Um, we can be influenced. We're heavily influenced by our culture, by our families, um, by our DNA, you know, by our heritage. Um, but we really do get to define what success means for ourselves. And that can be really holistic. So for me, it really needs to be about my personal life and my professional life. And it needs to be mind, body, spirit. So I really need to take care of myself physically and mentally and emotionally, take care of the ones I love um, and that I'm responsible to. And then also allow myself to express myself creatively in the world. And for me, a lot of that is business. Business is a creative process for me. So I've come to believe that um, we do get to design that for ourselves. And um, I really didn't believe that early on. I really tried to force myself into doing all of these things. I was very ashamed and embarrassed. I still have a little bit of discomfort being a single woman. I feel like, you know, being looked at like, oh, well, yeah, she's just another divorced business executive. And, you know, no wonder she's, you know, she's successful in business, but she can't, you know. So I think we have a lot of those judgments and I just have to let go. I have to accept that those things are out there, but let go of my old sort of belief system. Thank you ladies for sharing your reflections. It's an important reminder for all of us that leadership requires moments of unlearning. 